By default, you only get one calendar, one calendar folder. You can create additional calendars to track your projects, personal appointments, and other activities separately. But only the default calendar is going to be used for meeting requests and showing your availability to others. So this is my working calendar. Maybe it's my business calendar, and I want to create an additional calendar for my personal appointments that I don't want in this calendar. You can right-click on the calendar, the default that is, and go down to New Calendar. Then type in the name of your new calendar, Personal. The folder contains calendar items. It's going to be stored in the calendar folder. You can go ahead and change this if you got an epiphany and you're like, hey, I want to go ahead and create another contact folder in the contacts view, which by default you only get one contact folder, but maybe you want to create an additional one that's your personal contacts. You can go ahead and do it on the fly without leaving your current view. That's what that's about, but let's go ahead and go back because what we want to do here is calendar items stored in the calendar folder so we can get our second calendar, the personal, click okie dokie, and there we go. Go ahead and check it. Adds it over to the right hand side, and let's schedule an appointment. Like let's do it for this Friday, March the 30th. Right click on it, go to new appointment, and let's say it's the dentist. Oh man, let's say it's a cleaning. I feel better. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow. Let's say it's going to be during lunchtime from 12 to 1. And then up in the options group, it's showing as busy. You could say you're out of the office, but since it's during lunch and it's my personal appointment, I don't really care about that. And then a reminder, 15 minutes, maybe a couple of days out. I'm going to say none. And then click save and close, and there's the appointment. Now, when you get a lot of appointments on one and you want to compare and contrast between the two, I don't know about you, but hopping my eyes back and forth here gets me kind of woozy. So they have what's called an overlay. You can come up here and click on the arrow, and you can see it says View in Overlay Mode. Click on it. It lays the personal calendar on top of the default one. And down below, how can you tell the difference between one calendar appointments, events, and meetings from another? Well, first of all, the one that's on top, well, you can see is in green. So there you go, dentist appointments in green. And then the second indicator is the one on top is in bold, is clear. The one that's behind it, underneath it, is faded. And so that way I can say, okay, 12 o'clock, that's where I'm going. And then 8 o'clock that night, I got the ghost hunting to do. Well, let me hover over that one. There you go, ghost hunting. So you can do it that way when you're done. You can go ahead and view it side by side by clicking on it back again. You can also right click on top of it. Say you want a new appointment so you don't have to like separate them since you can see everything right there. But when you create the new appointment, new one, and let's do an all day event actually. And then click Save and Close, and it shows as free. No, we'll just say we're out of the office, then click Save and Close. You can see it's right there. It schedules. Okay. And the reminder comes up. Let's dismiss it. I forgot to get rid of that. In any case, it's going to be on the one that's on top here. So if I want to schedule on the one behind it, then I need to get it out of overlay mode. So to do that, you can go ahead and click on the arrow to view it side by side, or you can right click and you get more options. You can see overlay is selected if you deselect it goes back to the way it was. And again, right click, you've got some additional options there where you can go back to overlay, you can change the color of the calendar, rename it, copy, delete it, move it. And if you have other calendars here, well, if you want to move it up, it actually switches places. So now you can have your default calendar overlay on top of the other calendar. And you can see with the calendar on top, everything is bold and beautiful and colorful. And then the one on the bottom is faded for the dentist appointment and the new one event. And so when you're done, you can go ahead and click on the X or just uncheck it here. And because I switched it, well, the calendar gets removed. It used to be up on the top here. So if I go ahead and check it and I right click on calendar and I move it back up, you see how it switches positions over here. So that's my priority calendar here. And since it's on top, over here in the main view, it's on the left hand side. So top to bottom, left to right, as far as priority goes. Close out of the personal, and it's there until you want to get rid of it. If you do, just go ahead and right click on it, say delete calendar, and once you delete it, it's gone for good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.